it's common for a woodworker with a fully equipped shop to purchase a CNC. But it's also just as common for someone to purchase a CNC as their first power tool. If the latter is you, then you and I took a similar path. The five power tools that I'm sharing with you today are ranked from lowest priority to highest priority. All right, number five on my list is this spindle slash oscillating belt sander. So the belt sander part is great for sanding edge profiles to removing tool marks or cleaning any edge up. The spindle part of the sander, this converts into the spindle sander, is great for sanding any inside of any parts that you create. The versatility of this specific sander is unbeatable. It's a great value and is a must for cleaning up the parts you create on your CNC. Number four on my list is a bandsaw. The versatility that a bandsaw offers in the shop is unmatched other than number one, which we'll get to here in a second. When it comes to CNC, a bandsaw complements the CNC really well by one, being able to finish your cuts. I've showed a couple techniques about not cutting all the way through your project and finishing it on the bandsaw. Another way is resawing your stock to get the correct thickness of stock for your projects. Having a bandsaw in your shop really can replace having a planer. So it's a really versatile tool when it comes to cutting and resawing and cutting things to the size that you need. All right, the third tool on my list is a random orbital sander. Now this might seem simple, but for the person that just purchased a CNC, not knowing what tools you need, you have to get a random orbital sander. Now, every piece, pretty much every project that comes off of my CNC bed gets hit with the sander. This is what gives a nice smooth finish before applying your wood finish and it just finishes off all your projects. When I was first starting out on my CNC journey, I had a lot of questions. Most of what I learned was from a lot of trial and error. Although that's a good way to learn, it is the slowest and the most expensive way that you can learn. If you find yourself feeling the same way I did, you should check out the Desktop CNC Inner Circle. This exclusive group is full of people that are traveling or have traveled this road of CNC. If you'd like to shorten the learning curve and see results quicker with your CNC, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you to check out more information. All right, number two on my list is a dust collector. Now that could be a central dust collection machine or it could be as simple as a shop vac. Something that extracts and pulls away and collects the dust that the CNC makes. The CNC is a messy machine. It creates a lot of dust. I ran my CNC for the first six months without a dust collection system and I look back and I'm like that's one of the dumbest things I did. Why didn't I get a some sort of dust collection set up ahead of time? Other than just keeping the mess contained, it will save you time from having to vacuum up every single time. You're gonna have to remove that dust somehow, and it's really a pain to do it after every project or between projects. So if you can get a dust boot and something sucking from where that dust is being collected, um, it saves you a lot of time. The more important thing, other than cleaning up a mess, is your health. You don't wanna be breathing that stuff in, so it's critical that you capture that stuff as quickly as it's being created. All right, number one on my list is the table saw. Now, I know this is a big, scary purchase, and a lot of people are scared of table saws, but hear me out. The central piece of any woodworking shop is the table saw. You can pretty much do anything you need to do when it comes to cutting, squaring, uh, trimming, whatever cut, there's a jig or a sled out there in order to accomplish that. So that's why this is number one, is because of its capacity and its versatility that it offers. But you might be thinking, well, I can cut wood on my CNC. I can just do a tool path and cut. Yeah, you can, but is that really efficient? Or you might be thinking, uh, all I need is a circular saw to cut my stock to size. Yes, that'll work, that'll get you by, but if you're gonna wanna produce good projects, good products, a table saw is the central hub of a woodworking shop, and it really needs to be on your list of next purchases. Like I talked about a little while ago, 
purchasing a CNC first or one of the first tools in your shop is a smart idea. The number one reason why I bought my CNC was the second tool. I bought a table saw and then I bought the CNC was it gave me a competitive advantage in creating products and it gave me versatility to create other things that other people couldn't. So if you take a path less traveled than other people, you're gonna stand out and that becomes your unique selling point. So which tools are you considering purchasing next? Drop me a comment below to let me know what's next on your purchase list. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that so you do not miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.